Good day, my friends. God bless all of you. And the greatest blessing of God, the greatest of all blessings, is to open our understanding, to make us to understand His Word. It's to make us comprehend His communication to us and ours and to Him. And this is only possible when the Holy Spirit comes upon us. This is the reality. The Holy Spirit gives us, He enables us for us to have and maintain a communion, a communication, a personal communication, an individual communication with the Almighty in order for us to place our needs before Him. So there is nothing more glorious, nothing greater, nothing wealthier, nothing more powerful than for you to receive the Spirit of the Most High God, for He gives you wisdom, knowledge, discernment, might, fear. He gives you everything you need in order to prevail in this world, to prevail in your challenges against this world, against your flesh, against hell, against whatever that comes against you. The Holy Spirit is the solution. And this is why Jesus sent us His Spirit. Look what happened when the Holy Spirit descended upon everyone for the first time. He descended upon all those who were united in the same place. Look what the Holy Scripture reads. It reads, When the day of Pentecost had, had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Pay attention. I'd like you to pay attention to this. When the day of Pentecost had fully come. What is the day of Pentecost? The day of Pentecost to the Jews is a day of the year in which they have a feast the feast of the first fruits, in which they bring to the house or they would bring to the temple of Solomon, for example, all the first fruits of the land, the first fruits of the land, the tithe. So they would bring the tithe along with the offerings, their free will offerings offerings, their free will offerings, they would offer it to God on this day. This day continues being celebrated by all the Jews throughout the world and we, we also have the celebration of the day of Pentecost, a day in which we have a feast to offer to God the best of ourselves, the first which is inside of us. Everything that's a priority in our lives, we place it on the altar of God. Our heart, our mind, our being, we place before God our offerings and the tithe, which are the first fruits of our entire income. So we have a feast, because in this feast, the feast of the first fruits, the feast of the tithe, it's when the Holy Spirit descended. Because as the scripture reads, on the day of Pentecost, Pentecost, they were all with one accord, which means in the same faith, the same spirit, one heart, all were turned to God. And in the same place, and all of a sudden it happened where suddenly there came a sound from heaven. It was not a wind. It was a sound. A sound came from heaven and it filled the entire house as of a rushing mighty wind 
a mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And it reads more. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire. Divided tongues as of fire. They were not tongues of fire, but as tongue of fire. And one set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So this Sunday, what we expect is that the same thing of the Pentecost, the Pentecost takes place, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit may take place upon all those who come to the universal church of the kingdom of God because we are convoking, we're summoning everyone, whoever believes, whoever wants, whoever accepts to participate of this personal and individual encounter, but at the same time, a collective encounter, but having the same spirit, the same faith, the same heart, the same mind, so that the Spirit of God may come in a supernatural manner and make of you new creatures. When the Holy Spirit descended on the day of Pentecost, the scripture reads that all who were there, there were 120 people, those 100 people spoke in tongues, in strange tongues, strange tongues for them, for themselves, but not strange for those who were strangers who were visiting Jerusalem back then. So they spoke in strange tongues to themselves, but not strange, for example, to the Greek. The Greeks were there, the Romans were there, all the peoples, or rather many people from different countries were in this place, not inside the cynical. In the cynical, there were only 120 who were filled with the Holy Spirit. But the visitors of Jerusalem, they saw these 120 speaking in the language of the Romans, the Greeks, of all the people who were there. Why? In order for them to testify, to witness the descending of the Holy Spirit because the descent of the Holy Spirit were, was for the 120 on that day. But then he continued coming upon all peoples, all nations who believed in the Lord Jesus Christ as the only Lord and Savior. Because of these, because of this, these who received the Holy Spirit, they became living witnesses of the resurrection of Jesus. So this is what we are proposing in our hearts for this Sunday at every universal church of the kingdom of God. And everyone is welcome. Everyone, everyone who believes, obviously. Everyone who believes, and above all, who trust, who believe wholeheartedly upon the Word of God and the Lord Jesus Himself. You are our guest on the day in which we shall be consecrating the tithers. Consecrating the tithers, not the tithe, because the tithe is already consecrated automatically to God. They're already separated to God. For believers and for unbelievers, their tithe already consecrated to God, of course. A faithful believer, he returns to God. The first tenth. The first tenth. But the unbeliever has it in hand, but he does not return it to God. He spends it on himself. And that's why he has been cursed with all pestilence and all sorts of loss 
which exists around. So, my friends, there are only two types of people in this world, the blessed and the non-blessed, the cursed. Those who are blessed, they are perfectly filled with the Holy Spirit. You want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, so you have the right. Do you think you are cursed? You think you are cursed? You, oh, you are burdened. There is a spirit which delays your life, which has tied or bound your life. Very well. This Sunday, you are our guest to come to participate and receive the spirit who will unblock your life and make you a new creature. So we will have the feast of the first fruits with the descending of the Holy Spirit upon all people. 